just so dynamic On another latitude, they can't stand it Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off And I was never planning on landing Been working on my legacy, yeah, since I've been a prodigy It's probably the dog in me, I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me no. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely And I met I win, you win I'm so sorry guys, I-W-E-N is how it's spelled Park in Fargo, North Dakota, a fantastic course And I'm on hole four, and this is my favorite hole on the course uh, I didn't think I'd have time to make it here. Last minute decision, we swung by. Um, I like this hole because as beautiful as uh, many of the holes out here are, this is a real good example of a thinking hole. If there's a pattern to the holes I like, that I like thinking holes, it's, I like thinking holes. It's 341 feet. If you can throw 341 feet, you can get to this hole. I mean, it's just right there. If your backhand, your Anheuser, a slightly overstable disc, you penetrate, let it fade to the left, you get in the circle, toss in a putt. It's a very birdieable hole. But I don't think it's correct to play for two here because there's thick trouble on the left. Not thick, it's a thick row of trees. You get out to the left, you may be completely blocked in. If you get out to the right, there's other obstacles on the right. It's kind of like a woods hole, except it's not narrow the whole way. It's open, it narrows and it opens again. But there's enough trouble where I believe the correct decision is to play this hole for three and let good players attack it and score worse. So I'm going to play for three. I think if I play for three, I'll probably average about a 3.1 on the hole. I'm still going to bogey it once in a while because it's a missable shot. But I think going for two offers an average worst score here. It's just my guess. But I'm going to throw a sidearm through the gap short. I'm going to land about 150 feet for a wide open approach shot if I execute. Okay, that, that might be the point one. Let's see what happens. I got a, I got a tricky shot now, so. So it's actually a fairly, it's a fairly ugly second shot. And I'm in the middle of the fairway too. So I'm actually already starting to rethink the strategy on this hole. I'm gonna throw my approach shot, we'll discuss it after. Um, I'm gonna throw the harp again. Straight flying, tail to the left. Okay, so that was a good shot. I may be able to save three, but I think I played the hole wrong. So I'm 25 feet from the hole, got my bird. Um, so it's got a little bit of a challenge. I got to put over some branches. So even a good shot was a bit obstructed. All right, so I got my three, but now I'm gonna reconsider this hole and tell you why I actually may attack it if I play a tournament here. It was not an easy three, and I was in the middle of the fairway. I mean, granted I hit early, but that can happen. If you're gonna play safe on a hole, it's okay to factor in the chances of that safe shot not working out. But if you attack the hole, you get to factor in the numbers of the occasional birdie. So even if I'm only gonna birdie this hole 20% of the time, if I'm gonna bogey it 20% of the time by going for it, it means I'm gonna average a three on the hole. It's not a guaranteed three playing for three. It's about a 3.1 or a 3.2 if you're playing for three. And I think there's about an equal chance of birdieing versus bogeying if I go for it. Uh, so mathematically, uh, it's not correct. Uh, to play this one safe. It's correct uh, for me to go for it. So if I come back uh, here, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is why it's, uh, it's so important to play holes ahead of time. And uh, you don't just throw it to target, you gotta think when you play. So yeah, hole four, I even like it more now because I had to second guess myself. It wasn't an obvious decision. That's fun. So yeah, it's my favorite hole in the course. Uh, be sure to subscribe to 
Basing or Disc Golf channel or the Scott Stokely channel and get uh, more of these if you like them. Call Macbeth with the ace, yeah. Fizzle man with the face, yeah. Sexy beats call me Nate, yeah. I got too much sauce on my plate, yeah. Devin Owens with the left hand, shout out D Money from the West, man. E Mac, I'm a true boy, yes. Yeah, White Jesus, stay blessed, man. It's about time, ain't it, John?